In this video, I want to help you how to create a YouTube channel step by step, including all the optimization settings. How could you maximize your results in the YouTube? Hi, this is Samir from the Sam Use. In this video, I want to help you how could you amplify your businesses in order to establish a big brand in the universe. If you are new here, so kindly subscribe. In this video, I want to help you step by step how could you create a YouTube channel, how could you maximize your results, and all these steps are being, have been included in this video. Make sure to click on the subscribe button if you are new here. For full video, the link is in the description box. Have a look here. As we all know, YouTube is the second most popular search engine in the world after Google. So more and more people are visiting this. So be ready guys how to create a YouTube channel. By some little optimizations and settings, how could you maximize your entire results like your page views, like your subscribers and your views and so on. So the first thing you need to do is to head over to YouTube.com and click sign in in the top right hand corner and you are prompted to log in so if you have already got a google account or a gmail email address this is where you will log in with that if you want to associate with your youtube account if you don't have one yet then you can just click create account down here and create one now before <coughs> we go any further in this tutorial there are two types of the channels that you need to be aware of the first is a personal channel and that is linked to your personal google or your personal gmail account and only you can access or only people who are logging into that exact account that username and password are able to manage that youtube channel the other thing to note with a personal channel is that the youtube channel name is going to be restricted to your account name which in most cases is going to be your own name but the second option you have is to create your youtube channel in a state as a personal channel as a brand new channel and this is going to give you access to things like a custom channel name so it doesn't need to just be your personal name and you can also assign other people or other google accounts as a channel manager on your channel as you don't need to be giving out your personal google account login details to anyone that you want to have help with your youtube channel you can actually just grant them access with their login details to access your channel so you will need to rest select either a personal channel or a brand channel but to note that you can switch from a personal channel to a brand channel at a later date if you would like to change later or you may be already set up as a personal you can convert it over to a brand channel later but what i recommend and what we use is a brand channel so that we can have multiple people managing the channel so once you have signed into youtube using your google account you can come up to the right top hand corner to your little profile picture and if you don't have a channel yet this is your first time logging in your you can click here to create a channel now if you have already have an existing channel when you click on this you will be able to access your channel but maybe you want to create a brand a new brand channel so that is where you will have to come from here to settings then go over to add or manage your channels and here it will show all the channels that you already have access to you can create a new channel just by hitting the plus button in the top left hand corner so going back over to our new channel setup this is where it is asking if you want to create a personal channel using our name or if you want to use a custom name which is creating a brand channel so i am going to select brand channel now this is where you get to decide your youtube channel name now it could be that you are still opting to use your personal name and if you are not going to be with your name i would suggest to try to keep it on topic or somehow related to the content that you are going to be adding to your channel but do note that it is possible to change your channel name after you have said it or it is not so much of a big deal now we have got a video specifically on this topic selecting your channel name 
taking you through a couple of different processes and a couple of different things that you can do to help your land on the protect channel for you so again that is going to be in the resources below this video i will link it up in the cards now let's call this super awesome super awesome channel i understand i am creating a new google account with its own settings so if we go create it will go through and do its things and then we get presented with this nice work your channel super awesome channel has been created it is giving us the next step here which it is upload a pre profile picture and so we are going to upload picture i am going to navigate through and find a picture i will put this one here in once you have got your profile picture in you coming down they will ask you now to tell your viewers about your channel so this is your youtube channel description so you want to add into this section here here is a few sentences or a short short paragraph including who you are what your channel is about and what viewers can expect on your channel what is the type of the content that you are putting out now a pro tip here is that you can actually optimize this up to help your channel rank by adding in some keywords and some key phrases around the content that you are going to cover here so it's important to add some of those keywords and key tags into the channel description here the channel description here also into the channel tags which we are going to get to soon and also inside the videos themselves that is going to give you the best chance of getting your videos and your channel rankings on youtube faster now make sure you stick around the ad you stick around to the end because i am going to share with you on the youtube ranking guide to help you do this for your videos and for your channel so here is our channel and our channel description to give you an idea of the types of the things that you can put in there we have got a bit of an intro welcome to primal video introducing myself and mike and what we do we are talking about the types of the videos that we are putting out on this channel we ask people to subscribe if they think that is fit for them we have also got linked here a resource to one of our videos editing guides but we you can also see in this description we have we have got a few keywords that are related to the content we are creating so video creation we have also got video editing tutorials great reviews videos production tips and tricks video marketing tips youtube ranking tutorials so this is stuff that will read well for a human but also helps youtube understand what your channel is about as well so for the sake of the channel that we are creating now i am going to copy and paste this thing as the description for the new one next you are going to add links to your sites and to your social media social media profile so we will add in websites here so we can give it a name we can add in our facebook twitter and instagram and we have save and continue okay with that is complete the next thing you want to do is to verify your channel this is going to unlock some extra features and things here so you want to come up again to your profile image come down to settings down here to channel status and features you can see these are the different things that you can unlock for your channel and the first step in unlocking these is verifying your channel so hit verify next you want to come through select your country you can either do it then with an automated voice message or you can get a text message sent to your phone then enter the verification code and your channel is now verified so it doesn't take much to verify your channel and you can see straight away we have access now for custom thumbnails and external annotations and we can upload longer videos and we can also upload videos as unlisted and as a private so once that is done you want to go through and set up your actual channel so if we go up here to return to youtube studio we will then go to our actual channel so we will come up here to view your channel on youtube and over to customize 
channel and this is where we can add in our channel art or our branding to make this look and feel like our brand now we have a full walkthrough on creating your youtube banner including some really advanced tips and techniques in here as well again it is linked below in the description in that resource area and i will throw a link up in the course as well but for the sum here i am just going to go add a channel art you go either upload a photo use any photos that are already uploaded on your google account or there are some in the gallery here from youtube that you can see go let us just pick the one here now you can adjust the crop you can see that it doesn't totally different on the desktop to tv to mobile so if you want to adjust the crop and zoom in or crop something you can do that in here as well maybe position it up a bit cool then hit select so that is how you can upload your youtube channel art so now if we go over to the about page here again you obviously see our description here we need to make any change to it we can edit that here but there are some other details that we can add in down here as well so for business inquiries we can add in an email address and go done so that mistakes that makes it easy for people to find an email address to contact us if you want to add a location for your channel you can do that in here as well so from here you want to go back to the youtube stereo dashboard down to the bottom to settings and then down on our channel and in here there are more settings to customize up your channel first uh, we are going to first is over to this one we are branding this is a little branding watermark that you can add to your videos it also acts as a subscribe button so you could just use your profile picture or you could make some little small subscribe button so for us i am just going to choose image let us go to the desktop i have a little youtube watermark subscribe button here which looks just like so it is something really basic and then you get to choose where you want to this displayed so whether it is on screen the entire time whether it starts at five seconds in or whether it is only shown at the end of the video so i'm going to leave it here that it starts about five seconds in because that i'm going to be after any ads or anything as shown at the bottom of our videos then then across to the advanced settings this is something that you will need to specify whether your channel is aimed at kids content or whether you are creating content that is made for kids or not so you will need to specify that yes this channel is made for kids it is going to have a kids content on it or no this channel is not made for kids now do now do note that you also have a third option here that i want to review this setting up for every video you can manually set this on a per video basis as well i am going to go with no this channel is not made for kids with this one if you don't have a google ads account you can link it down here just a hitting link we can come back across to basic info here this is where we are able to add in some keywords or some key tags associated with our channel to again show youtube what our channel and our content is about to give it everything it requires to best shows our channel and our videos up in the search results and on the youtube platform so it could be that you are starting off with some obvious ones here once here just in brown primal video i am just pressing the comma then it applies it as a tag it could be video marketing it could be youtube for business video editing filming on iphone and right you get the point what are the things that people could search for to potentially find your channel and again this is where our youtube ranking guide that i am going to share with you at the end of this video this video is going to help you find out what these terms are that you ideal subscribers are searching for that you can associate with your channel as well where the content is related so you want to go ahead with add a few of those in now only add them if they are relevant to your channel don't just add spam ones in or once they are maybe a hot topic right now you really just want to add in these ones that are relevant to your channel so below you are got, got upload defaults now this is where you can start to streamline your upload process so every time you upload a video this could be a default values that are added to each one of your videos so for the most part it, i would like to say that you leave the title and the description empty because they are going to relate to each video but maybe you are setting things like every video when you upload it to go as private first while you get it set up and then you release it at your own time likewise with the tags 
if there are some tags that are going to apply to every one of your videos like in our case it could be something like primal video or just in brown we can add those in here and they are going to show up automatically and when we upload every video and there is more upload defaults on red monster settings here around head to YouTube just to take you back to the YouTube dashboard and then when we click on the profile picture you are going to get more options in here and we come down to settings and you can add and remove managers down here under channel managers just click on here and you can assign people to be managers on your channel now while we are on the page I will also show you the view advanced settings in here so in here there is where it gives you user ID your channel ID in case you need those to link up things like TubeBuddy or other YouTube channel management tools which we use and strongly recommend. And the other thing that is on this page is this where you come to set up your custom URL. Once your channel has been approved for it, so this is where you can have youtube.com forward slash primal video as the link that you give people instead of having you link a bunch of random numbers and letters now. There are requirements for this. If we click on this now, it will tell us here that in order to have a custom URL, your channel will need to have 100 subscribers or more, be at least 30 days old, have an uploaded video as a channel icon, and have uploaded channel art. So once you have reached those things, that is where you can go back and add that as well. If we go back to our channel page now, this channel is now set up and ready to go. For you to start uploading content, obviously, that all need to do then is film some videos and come up here and hit upload video and you are good to go so that is the complete walkthrough on creating and setting up your youtube channel hope you have find this video very much informative so far as its title how to create youtube channel is concerned i in this video i have explained you step by step how to create a youtube channel hope you like this video kindly do share and subscribe my channel and wait for the next video Thanks for watching.